Hey everyone, um, I, um, today I'm going to talk to you briefly about um, Mac OS X, Mac OS X um, Lion, which is a developer preview which I managed to uh, get. It is the uh, upcoming version of um, the Mac um, OS and uh, it will be released to uh, everyone around this summer. Apple just uh, released a developer preview um, two days ago, and uh, yeah, I just uh, just received it, just installed it, and I'm gonna show it to you guys right now. So um, there you are, in um, in uh, on the desktop. I'm sorry, I'm just getting used to it. Uh, I don't really know what to say or where to go because um, I'm literally learning it um, as I'm telling you guys. Um, so yeah, I installed it on a portable hard drive because um, I read on the internet that uh, if you installed it from uh, on your current system, then when the clean version comes, uh, the mainstream one. Um, you're gonna have to have a clean install, so you're gonna have to change everything. Might lose some uh, data and stuff. And I had this uh, this portable hard drive, so I put everything on it. Um, anyway, so yeah, here we go. This is uh, the main area, and I took some screenshots, but I don't think it's really relevant because I'm just gonna show you guys. Um, so the first changes. Uh, so you have your apps over here. Um, and the first change in there is that you have a launch pad. So what is the launch pad? It is exactly like on uh, an iPhone or an iPad. See, I got all my apps here. Uh, if I want to put my um, text edit onto photo booth, it's going to create a folder. You can click there on the folder. See, it's just like on the... Uh, on the... Uh, what's his name? On iOS, um, on any uh, I, iPhone, iPod Touch, uh, everything. If I go, yeah, and if I click uh, anywhere else, it just goes away. Um, so then, what else do we have? Uh, I haven't looked at the preferences. Uh, I want to check if there's anything that's actually uh, changing. Doesn't seem like it. Um, oh yeah, um, one thing, you can see the appearance is kind of changed, it looks more like the new iTunes, uh, it's a little bit clearer, and also you can resize it in any possible way, uh, okay, it doesn't work here, I don't know why, I'm going to go on the finder, um, so as you can see I can resize it, I don't have to only use the uh, little corner over here, I can, uh, I can do it from you know, anywhere. It's uh, it's pretty useful, even though it's not really much of a change. Um, also, you will not see that because I'm using my fingers, but when you scroll, it's now just like when you're on your phone, which means that if you scroll down, it's going to go up. If you scroll up, it's going to go down. Um, and one last uh, one last change as well on this. If you uh, if you go up to the up to the top, it you can see it sort of bounces just like on the on the normal um, iPhone interface um, I haven't seen what airdrop is oh yeah air, um, I heard of airdrop actually airdrop is a way to send uh, data and files to um, to another or Mac uh, in the area I'm the only one at home who's got a Mac and I'm the I'm one of the few people lucky people to have uh, OS X Lion so uh, this is not going to be useful for the moment, but you can see um, drop, um, AirDrop as Dropbox without the internet and, uh, and on a local area. So it's pretty useful. You can you can send the files to uh, to everyone and, uh, and yeah, it's a, I think it's a great feature. Even though well, technically, because I haven't really tried it yet. Um, so what else do we have? Uh, oh yeah, uh, one good thing about it. Um, I'm going to go on the Finder. So see here is my uh, the the hard drive that's integrated to my um, to my laptop, 
right? This is the one with Snow Leopard. And this is my passport, which is the portable hard drive, the one on which I, uh, I put Mac OS X um, Lion. So if I go on this one, and if I go to my applications, you see I can have access to the apps, so I don't have to reinstall everything. I can just go on the hard drive that's actually already available here. And uh, yeah, I can access everything. I'm going to uh, say if I want to open Opera, for example. It's opening here. Uh, and then the rest is pretty much the same. Um, what else did I hear about? Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, the interface has changed a little bit. Uh, Air Launchpad. What else? Um, if I scroll, I can't see anything, which is not really good. Um, so, what do we have here? Um, so, yeah, Opera, hello, how you doing? Um, so I want to go to twitter.com doesn't doesn't really change I mean uh, the it's gonna be more interesting for for the rest um, also um, as you can see mail has been redesigned um, so it's it looks more like Sparrow uh, which I use currently as my mail client uh, you can look at it on sparrowapp.com uh, and yeah it, it, it's a good uh, good design and most apps, at least the Apple apps, I'm not sure about the rest, most apps you can um, you can put them in full screen so you have the normal thing then all your messages popping up uh, showing up and then yeah your actual email um, so that's for mail that's it for mail uh, is there anything else that I want to show you? I'm not really sure um, FaceTime is included so you don't have to pay the extra one uh, euro uh, pound or dollar or whatever, which is obviously a good thing. Um, not to trackpad. I've heard that there were uh, some new features on the trackpad. Uh, oh, oh yeah, heard about that as well. Um, so this is, as you can see, the the borders are moving. If you uh, use three fingers to scroll to the right, you're gonna get onto uh, the dashboard. And otherwise, if you scroll four fingers, you're going to get onto Mission Control. Um, mission Control is basically what Expose used to be, except it reorganizes everything. Um, it reorganizes everything onto um, one single. Uh, well, apps are are um, separated between apps. So, say if I open like two windows, I'm going to open another window. Uh, oh, it doesn't work. Well, I need to investigate why it doesn't work. Basically, okay, that's why. See, now I have. Ooh. I even have a fancy presentation for you guys. Um, yeah, so here I've got like two windows. And now I'm going to open mail. And I want to open the App Store as well. So. Uh, This doesn't work properly. I need to uh, need to see why it doesn't work. Um, okay, so the dashboard thing is working. Um, yeah, technically you're supposed to have mission control, and as I said. Mission control um, is for uh, sorting your apps, th sorting all the windows that you have, uh, and uh, and put them, organize them by uh, by apps. It, it 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 seems like a good feature, but um, I don't know why I can't use it right now. So here I am in uh, what I think is uh, yeah, what used to be Mosaic View. As you can see, it's sorted out by uh, by type, so images, source code, other documents. Uh, and if I press space, which which used to be preview uh, and which still is preview, see that's what happens. Uh, I get a new window. It looks a bit different. I can open with uh, preview. Um, yeah, I'm talking about quick look. Sorry, not preview. And uh, yeah, I can put it full screen as well. It. It's just an improvement of the way they actually put the system. Add to iPhoto. 
I haven't even, I haven't tried it for a while actually. Mm, not sure. I'm not even sure if I have it because yeah, I don't think I do. Um, anyway, I'm gonna investigate more uh, about what I can do with Mac OS X um, Lion. And uh, yeah, it, it also seems more uh, s smooth and, and more reactive, uh, which is a good thing. Um, so we've seen mail, now I would like to show you um, the new address book and the new icon. Basically they're not too different, uh, oops, but um, yeah, they're not too different, but they do change a little bit. So see, now the address book, um, it looks well actually more like an actual address book. You can have a book view or card view, I guess we can call it that way. Um, I'm not really sure about the uh, the proper name. And uh, yeah, you got all the stuff that was there before. Uh, and as I showed you, you can resize it. Um, so yeah, uh, this is work phone, uh, website, um, address, notes, and you can edit everything and you can share it and uh, actually share it, sends it by mail. So as you can see, here's the uh, the contact card thing. Um, also, if you click on this uh, on this ribbon over, he over here, um, you get to your groups. Um, so as you can see, all my contacts uh, on this Mac, everything on this Mac, and yeah, yeah. this is my uni address, um, and yeah, I have a... Uh, I mean, you can sort everything by group. Just the way you could before, it's just it's just um, the way it's displayed that changes. So this is it for address book. Now on to iCall. So here's the new iCall. It changes a little bit as well. Uh, this is the yearly view, if you can call it that way. And as uh, many Apple apps, you can put um, the the apps in full screen, which. Uh, which is sort of a, a philosophy that Apple is trying to bring on. Um, they already redesigned the uh, iLife uh, suite for um, for being uh, usable in full screen. Uh, so you can do that do this with uh, iPhoto and uh, and some others as well. But iPhoto being like the flagship of of this. And uh, oh yeah, the the other one is uh, GarageBand. Um, anyway, so yeah, this is the new the new calendar in uh, full screen. So as you can see, yeah, it looks pretty much the same. It's really just uh, a matter of um, of this bar that you know color changes, display changes a little bit, but you won't be too lost. Um, and clicking clicking here on calendar brings up the different uh, different calendars that I have. Click add, quick uh, quick event. Um, so yeah, that is it for iCall. Now I want to show you something else. Uh, I wanted to show you Mission Control. I, I finally managed to make it work, so I'm gonna open two different uh, different things. Uh, this one's gonna be used with Twitter. This one's gonna be a default one. And I'm gonna use the Twitter client. Um, so Mission Control basically, you need to scroll up because. Um, if you've paid attention to the video, scrolling is now the other way around uh, in order to make it look like um, like this, the exact same move uh, as the uh, iOS interface. So I'm going to scroll up with four fingers and that's how it goes. So everything is displayed um, is displayed in an organized way. Uh, I can have several apps open in Chrome and it stays with the Google Chrome app stays here I can choose whichever one I want and also I have access to the dashboard on one click then if I want to go back to the desktop scroll down four fingers uh, scroll up four fingers um, bring back mission control and go back to the desktop um, that is it and uh, yeah also now with the new mission control scrolling down brings up uh, only one app so say if I'm running on Chrome, which has two windows open, scrolling down is bringing the two different windows. Um, and yeah, this is basically mission control. So as I said, you have different new uh, new ways to swipe, which is interesting. Uh, the launchpad, wait, ah, 
No, this is not what I want. Okay, launch pad like this. Yep. Um, and you can reorganize everything. It's uh, it's a convenient thing, I think. Yeah. I'm playing around with it still. Um, I think it, it's it's really interesting uh, for usability because Apple really are the one that brought up the trackpad with the uh, the multi touch uh, multi touch trackpad and multi touch features. Uh, they they brought it over from um, from the iPhone, and uh, ever since they launched it, everyone has been trying to copy it. Um, I have I have a relative who has a netbook, and netbook already has like pinch to zoom and, and, and stuff like that. So I'm only assuming that in the future, things like mission control, um, like having different features depending on the number of fi of fingers that you use, uh, this is just going to increase. I mean that's that's only my point of view, but that's how I see it. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video now, um, and you can post comments uh, below or uh, contact me on Twitter or any any way you want, um, and you can uh, tell me if there's anything that you heard about that you wanna that you wanna check if you want me to review something. Um, thanks for watching this video. This is uh, tips for itips.com and uh, I'm proud to be a Mac user.